Well, it's under part 5 of my Pokemon Crystal Adventure, so let's fight this sage here! And we'll continue on in the Sprout Tower, at the top, here. Sage Neil, and he has a Bellsprout! Very surprising! And I have my Subat, and, but I will switch now, because Subat can't really do anything to a uh, Bellsprout. And Bellsprout can't do anything to uh, Subat. Ah, uh, thank you for grouting. Oh, we just do Sember and get a one in kill, probably. And it is a one in kill, so that's pretty nice. Woohoo, level 7! And I defeat a Neil! My head that is bright. Okay, hey, hey. So much you trust your Pokemon. I trust them very much. Or, yeah. Subat. Subat isn't that strong yet, but it will get much better. And another best proud. We didn't see that coming. And we switch into Cinequeel. And I will use the Ember on it. As every as I've done on every other best proud. And Bowsprout should go down, and it goes down. A Hoot Hoot! Uh, I will switch to Subat just for the experience. And now I will switch uh, back into Cyndaquil. Because I don't have all day with Zubat. And tackle the 3 damage to uh, Cinequil. Hope oh, Emperor does some good damage. Alright, this isn't even a 2 kill. Thank you for growling. I want to use tackle. So, Emperor! So, yeah, this isn't even. Then a tweet kill on Hootoot, which is kinda disappointing, but not really because Hootoot has uh, decent special defense. And Cinequil almost level up. Yes, your trust is real. Yes, it is. Now we'll, we now we'll use a potion on uh, Cinequil, just uh, so it has some health left. Not Ooh, what was that? Oh, there, there's that uh, red. Yeah, you're a douchebag. You know that? Uh, you, you, you really are a douchebag. I hear you. Go out. Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here, you douchebag. Okay. How do you know? Okay, fight him! Sage Lee, and he has a Bell Sprout! And this one is in level 7! Very surprising, isn't it? So we'll switch into Cyndaquil. And they use a whip. Two damage to Cyndaquil. So we'll go for an Ember, because that's super effective. And that is a what a kill on Bellsprout. And yes it is. Ooh, level 8! Ooh, level 13! Double level up! Pretty nice. Ooh, two! Okay. I will stay with Cyndaquil. Just because. And this Hoot is, is in level 10, so this can be pretty hard to take down. Because it can be annoying with Growl, and this looks to be a free kill with Ember. If I don't get a critical hit here, which would be very nice, but I don't get it. And now he's in Force Arch, which is, uh, doesn't really matter because 
it only makes so uh, normal and uh, fine type moves can hit on ghost type. So that really didn't matter at all. Bounce Brow! It's less Pokemon! So we'll go for an Ember and that will uh, be a one hit kill on Bounce Brow. And it is. And Cynic will almost level up. Ah, excellent! Okay. And you'll receive a 705 flash from uh, that guy, from Lee. So now we can light up uh, in the caves and all that. And here you can find a escape rope. And I will just use one, just because. There is use. And now I will go and heal my Pokemon and then I will take on the gym because I have some time left. Like four minutes or something. Thank you for healing. Let's check out the uh, how many experience there will be. 86 experience. Let's just check out the bat. Think I'll put Cinequil in front of the party just because I want that. Okay, let's go and fight the first gym now. Let's fight this trainer here. If you are good enough to belt opener or something. And you know, this gym is flying type gym, so if you have Chigrida or Bellsprout, this uh, could be pretty hard. But if you have Cinequil or Totodile as your starter Pokemon, this shouldn't be really too much of a problem. Maybe later on it can be a little hard or at least annoying. And the second Ember will take out Sparrow, and that's pretty nice, because now Cynic will level up to level 40. And you know what happens then. Yes, this is true! Cynic will is evolving! Woohoo! Cynic will has evolved into a... Quillava! Oh, now I got a Quillava. So let's check out its stats. That's pretty good special attack and speed. That's what I like about it. It's so awesome. I really love uh, Quillava. Especially the final evolution. There's another trainer. Okay, come on. Rod and your Pidgey. Just a little Pidgey. Level 7. And I will switch into Quilava. And it's just a tackle and it does like 3 damage to Quilava. With Ember, it's a probably a 2 hit kill. Oh, it's a 1 hit kill! Very nice, Quilava. Here is another PG. I will just switch into Zubat for the experience. And I will switch it back into Quilava. And she's just tackled and it does 3 damage to Quilla, which isn't anything at all. So go for the Ember. And that is a 1 hit kill. And now we defeated the uh, Rod, uh, the last trainer in this gym. And uh, next time I will take on Faulkner, the first gym leader. So see you then. Peace out.